Hello everybody, Angel Arts here, and welcome back to another episode of Dust and Elysian Tale. In our last episode, we were kicking off this war, and I think we've reached the point of no return, so we're gonna go and see if we're gonna be able to beat this game once and for all. Go up against Gaius, or whatever his name is, and just take him out. Oh, you weakling. Here. Bow to the greatness that is Fidget's projectile. His electric, electrifying personality. That was terrible. Horrible. Horrible. Come on, I'm embarrassed with you guys. Down you go. That's what I thought. That's right, come on. Think you can beat me? I've died and come back to life several times, apparently. Come on, I've got 21 chickens. Alright. Ooh, is this the final boss? Mitrare, we can't go on any further. Those enemy cannons are far too powerful. You'll need to find a way around their flanks so you can destroy them. That sounds fine by me. I am here to serve. Um, I think I'm good. Your transact. Watch your. He doesn't have any parting wishes now that we're at the end of the game, or at the end game, he's got nothing special to say. Alright, fair enough. Ooh, what's down there? I can't tell right now. Ooh! There we go. Yeah, yeah. There's treasure in here. Somewhere. All right. That's right. I'm about to level again. Goodness gracious. Yes. yes. Um, max health. No. Attack. Back to this again. I do love to dodge my attack. So there we go. Oh no. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Is that getting are we flanking it now? You gotta stop me! Alright. Gotta get through there somehow. Ooh! Military Grand Augment. Nice! I need ten of those and one of those. Okay. Ha 
Haha, you guys can't get to me. You are so disappointed. What? 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 What's the matter? What's the matter? Nice. I know what that blom is for. Wow. This place goes forever. Okay. Was there anything back here that I missed, though? Just to make sure. No, you know, not the cannon is off. Really? Nothing? According to Fidget, there's a treasure. There's treasure here somewhere. Ooh. Oh, okay. Alright, well this takes us back to... Alright. Keep doing that again. Such a smooth combat system. Stab him behind the back. I gotta get that that bomb from back here. Oh, you guys are still here. I thought I took care of you. Wow, I leveled up again. Jeez, my level's flying. I'm getting so much XP from all of this. Another generator, which is already okay. Gotta get rid of these things. Projectiles are so powerful. Yeah, take care of that thing. That's what we were hearing. Yeah. Nobody needs to do that. All right. Down below. Oh, hi. Well, I see.
Oh, gosh. there. Alright, I saw that. I saw that. I knew there must be something up there. Nice. Figured there had to be a purpose for that. Hurry up. There we go. Ah. Okay. Fortunate for me, those bombs are not particularly strong. Alright, I want to make sure that I didn't miss anything down below. So, more of these weapons. Probably should shut those down. Man! All these bodies. All right. All right. I think we're done here. Move on. Trying to see if I could see what's over that side. I bet you there is something on the other side of that. I'd like to. I think so. At least I would like to think so. Oh no! It's just a wall. Boo! I thought I was being, you know, clever, but no. Okay. Whoa, who's this? We are nearly there, Mithraren. Once we are through their line, General Gaius will be within sight. No matter what happens, my friend, it has been an honor to fight by your side. The honor is mine as well. Whatever you're doing, it's Alright. Ooh, double! Alright, just to make quick work of those. I'm about to level again! Maybe I can level before I go to see Gaius. Maybe. Or maybe not. So close to leveling! Here we go, we're gonna level before we get down. At this rate, at least. Yeah, with these guys here. Nice! I knew it. I was like, I knew it! There we go. Oh, 
Carnage! Carnage! Shop run. I am here to serve. Um, no, but I think that's that's it. All right, that's it. Should I buy some of these? I think I'll get one of these revival stones. I have two in stock. Might as well buy the third one. Just to Your be safe. Transaction. Thank you. If we're nearing the last boss, having three of those would be nice, probably. Ooh, very nice. That was a nice place to have a save point. Okay, so where am I going next? How are you guys? Okay. How, how did you guys get through that? What? How did you guys get through that? I'm confused. Oh, okay, I have to go the long way. Alright, fine. What the heck? Oh, here we are. Gaius, I presume. General Gaius! Wait! Wait! Just a moment. Lower your weapons. I said lower your weapons! You have much to answer for, General. And what of you, my friend? A year ago I heard stories of your death. At the hands of a child, no less. Now, here you stand, not only alive, but leading the very creatures we've been charged to destroy. Yeah, your point. You've been charged to destroy, not me. What happened to you, Cassius? Cassius? Do you not remember your own name? What have those damned moonbloods done to you? What did you call me? Cassius! That's who you are! You already know Don't that. Don't listen to him! You're Jin now! Remember that! No, he's dust. I... He's neither. He's dust. You're remembering now, aren't you? Together, nothing stood in our way. We shaped this world together. And together, we can finish what we started. You order the deaths of countless people. Countless Moonbloods. Moonblood sympathizers. Anyone that stood in your way! Yes. And you carried them out. No, he no did not. Blade, old friend. Cassius First, did. First, we destroy these moonbloods once and for all. Then I can help rid you of these fantasies that have spoiled your mind. Dust, listen to me. Cassius was my name. You already knew that. That doesn't matter. You knew that already, it's Dust. It's all that matters. All those people I killed, fidgets. How could I possibly redeem myself in a mere few it's days? It's not you. You cannot, Dust. This was never about redeeming Cassius. But then... You are not Cassius. Thank you, that's what I've been saying. But you're not Cassius, and you're not Jin. His very soul. You're dust. That doesn't matter! Why do you keep saying that? Because you're not just Cassius! Jin didn't kill those people. Jin saved Aurora and Mudpot Village. Jin stopped Fuse, saved Lady Tethys, and now he's the only thing standing against General Gaius! Cassius would destroy the Moonbloods. But Jin? He would protect them. No, Fidget. You're wrong. Jin didn't do any of those things. Dust did. Then you finally come to your senses. Jin is dead, as is Cassius. Their souls now live within me, constantly reliving that fateful day. Forever in battle, forever at odds. But as long as I live, I still have a choice. Do we actually have a choice? Then what are you? I am Justice Incarnate. 
brought to this world by forces beyond your comprehension. A cleansing storm to sweep across the land and purge it of your foul presence. I am dust. Yeah. And your campaign ends here now. You're like five minutes late. Throw down your weapons and surrender. Or you will face an enemy unlike any this world has ever seen. Cassius, please don't do this. You know you cannot win. I want to bet. Let's end this. Alright, Cassius. Let's see what you got. Ooh, okay. Fancy schmancy, old man. You're already at, like, what? A quarter health? Almost a half health. Alright, and it's been, what, not even a minute? Like a few seconds? Oh, there you are. You're at a little bit of health. I feel like you're just doing most of the work, though. That's right, Cassius. Okay. Alright, alright. I'm, I'm thinking you must have another form or something, because, come on now. I didn't even eat this chicken. Oh my gosh, the first boss fuse is more, was more. Oh, okay, there, you healed him. That's good. That's good. And... Yeah, I didn't even give him the chance to talk. <laughs> you cannot win, Cassius. I just did. You never could beat me. Stop calling me Cassius! There was a time when you stood by my side. We were allies once. Yeah, that wasn't me. Not anymore, General. I'm not your ally, and I'm not your friend. Now raise your blade or drop it. You never could scare me either, Cassius. Very well. To the I lowered your hit points down already. He's probably has a revival stone. Yeah, you have a revival stone as well. I guess it's only two. Oh, interesting. I'm wondering if I can get that as a projectile for for Fidget after this. I'm still, you know, waiting to see why you think that you can, you know, that I'm not going to be able to beat you, Cassius, because right now you're kind of just standing there. Your hit points are almost reloaded. How many revival stones do you have? Did you just hit your own people, Gaius? That's kind of funny. I'm sorry. Oh, and your hit points is low again. There we go. How many levels of this are we going to be doing before you run out of revival stones? Don't you remember anything, Cassius? Why would you draw your blade against your fellow soldiers? Why would you draw your blade against me? Why do you keep calling me you that by that name? You're destroying this world, Gaius. You and your soldiers cannot be allowed to continue your campaign. This world belongs to the strong, Cassius. It belongs to us. Don't you remember your duty? Don't you remember your friends? I remember everything. And it changes nothing! Right, here we go. Oh, wow. Cassius, you actually hit me once! During all three Garcanations, you hit me once! Congratulations! Here, have a Guam Fruit! Yeah, there you go. Have another! Congratulations, Cassius. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or Gaius, I keep calling him the wrong name. Do I need to kill you with a bomb? Is that what needs to happen? Oh wow, I actually have to heal myself. Oh, here we go again. This is where it ends, Gaius! I hope so, this is taking too long. Oh wow, by the lava. Do I have to knock you to the lava? How very Star Wars of you. Actually, the biggest threat in here is the lava, not Cassius, it seems. Ooh, I might have to switch to a different item. Let's just switch to the cinnamon buns. Lava, please. Wow, Fidget's like, ah. Oh no, what happened to Dust? He's losing his hat, not the hat. And the dust settles. Cassius! 
For the last time, that's not who I am, Gaius. Cassius is dead, and so is Jin. Uh, do I have to move? Oh, I have to move. Where's Fidget? Okay, okay. Gosh, I'm moving towards you. Oh, do I have to make a choice now? Oh, I feel like I feel a choice coming. Do I ha really have to get to him? Can I just leave? Can I just leave? <laughs> oh, we were friends once. kind of sad, though, if they were friends before. He died a hero. Oh, the lights, all the lights are going off of the sword. Okay. Through the actions of our Sen Mithrarin dust, the Moonblood race is finally free. We will never forget his sacrifice or the deeds that saved our very world. We shall always remember what happened here. Dust's sacrifice will allow the Moonblood race to rise again, to rebuild our glorious civilization, and live peacefully among the races of this world. Though it may appear that Whoa. dust has fallen here today, a force of good is not so easily extinguished. Whoa! Sen Mithrarin was born of dust, a current of change, a harbinger of storms yet to come. Oh. Dust. Oh, interesting. Do I sense a sequel? I sense a sequel. Cool. A game by Dean Dodrell. Yeah, apparently this was made by one guy for the most part. This game was made by one guy for the most part. Well, with the with the exception of the voice acting, the voice acting work obviously, and the soundtrack. Um, I did some research, but the, the man, the person who basically created and made this game, originally was actually trying to make an anime. Makes sense. It was really trying to make like an, a short anime film or movie. And then I think he entered a competition, like a video game competition and ended up making the at least the early prototype in the early stages of this game instead and i think i believe won that competition and then a few years later came out with this game in the finished product 
So the sheer the the sheer fact that um, Dustin, Cassius, Lucy, and Dodge. Cool. The sheer fact that this was made by essentially one person, for the most part, is impressive because it's so polished. It's so the the animation, the art style is gorgeous and beautiful, and the combat system, the combat is so smooth, so smooth. Um, uh, yeah, so it's 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 amazing. Just 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 what this person was able to do. Um, and it's short and sweet, you know, it's not a particularly long RPG game. Um, but I think that it's, it's, it, it was long enough. I think if they drew it, drew it out even longer, it, it probably would have gotten a little bit too redundant or monotonous. So I'm kind of, I think the, the length was actually perfect, it was just fine for what it is, for the story that it was trying to tell. Uh, the story itself, it got a little cliche at times, I think, especially especially with that ending, with Dust, you know, dying, quote-unquote dying, and then coming back. I mean, it's that's gotten pretty cliche in stories as it is, but it's okay. I mean, it's not the best written story, but it, for what it is, again, it's it was still an enjoyable time. As for the characters, I mean, the voice acting, the voice acting was very well done. I mean, it wasn't super amazing. I mean, this is a indie game at the end of the day, but for an indie game, it was definitely very well done. Um, I... Fidget was... I think I think the biggest, the biggest thing, the biggest criticism I have, and this is very subjective, a very subjective criticism, is Fidget... I liked Fidget, but there were times when I thought Fidget was a little too... Uh, I don't want to say too cute, because that's not the right way to say it. It almost felt like I was playing a game with, like, with... Playing a game about, you know, violence and killing things um, with, like, Elmo from Sesame Street, or, you know, a, a, a kitty with a kitty sidekick. Um, and that's not a, that necessarily a bad thing. It comes again, completely subjective, but it got a little off-putting at times. Um, and, and I understand. I mean, fidget is fidget is fidget, but it it did not. I guess it didn't. His fidget's character didn't translate well enough. I guess for my age group, is the best way I can explain it. Uh, but that's okay. That's perfectly fine. And and obviously, you all are welcome to disagree with me on that. Um, but uh, the other thing that really surprised me are the elements of the story. Speaking of the story, the elements of the plot that were, that did, like, push the envelope of what you were normally used to with games like this. For example, doing everything that you could to help with the water, the healing water, and having the father still die. I mean, normally in other games, you know, once you do stuff like that, you save the day. You save the village. And everything is hunky dory, and in this one, it just, you know, it was more realistic that way. It, it taught you that, you know, heroes can't always save everybody. Um, I like the, the twist in the middle with the two souls and stuff. I, I mean, it wasn't that big of a twist because we already knew, they had already been dropping hints that Dust was essentially, you know, in cahoots with the bad guy, with the big bad. So it wasn't that big of a shocker when we found out that you know, he was Cassius, and oh my gosh, he used to be a bad guy all along. It, you know, so I think that the presentation of who he was could have been more shocking, but, you know, it's okay. The boss fights were very, were diverse and interesting. The boss fight guy with Gaius, I still feel like Gaius' boss fight was a lot easier than Fuse, and maybe the, than the first boss, and maybe a lot of that's because I had leveled up so much that the, the boss at I mean, his boss, the boss fight at the end wasn't, ended up being a little too easy. So, and that's, again, that's just the nature of a game that you can, where, in which you can out-level, essentially out-level the content. I like the cameos of all of the characters. I like the homages to other games, like having, you know, Super Meat Boy appear and, you know, the breaking of the fourth wall, having Fidget make fun of Dust for being able to put to pocket black sheep into his inventory 
you know, it, it was a very interesting way to do a side-scrolling spin on an RPG. You know, the leveling system was simple. One could probably argue it might have been a little too simple, but yeah, it, again, it's fine. The crafting system was, again, super simple. It wasn't really all that complicated. Essentially, once you moved to a new level, you got different drops, and those drops were made for armor of that level. And then once you went to the next level, Essentially, the crafting items became obsolete with the exception of all those annoying fresh for fetch quests that you had to do for people in Aurora Village. Um, but it was a fun game. It was a very good game, very solid game. I'm glad that I played it. Um, was it the best game that I believe that I will have played in, in this year? Most likely not. I don't think so. But I did enjoy it. It was fun. Um... And yeah, I think that anyone who anyone who enjoys side-scrolling platforms with an RPG with a with a pinch of RPG elements into it, it wasn't purely an RPG. It would have been really interesting, I thought, if they did end up giving you a choice at the end of whether or not whether or not to follow to follow um, Gaius at the end, basically the good versus evil. Thing, but again, that might have been a little too cliche. Too cliche to have a game in which you didn't have any choices at all, and except for the very end. At the very end, you make one choice. That that I mean, I guess that might be a little, a little, you know, too cliche. But yeah. So yeah, that's all I got to say. I guess. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this LP of Dust and Elysian Tale, and tune in next time for whatever it is I decide to play next. Until next time, everybody, love yourselves and love each other.